Good afternoon, welcome to the Midday Mole for Thursday the 6th of August. We continue reflecting on the book of Ruth and we saw that Naomi and her family had moved to Moab, her husband and sons had died and she was left with her daughters-in-law, at which point she decides to head back to Bethlehem. So she and her daughter, daughters-in-law Ruth and, and Orpah pack up their stuff and they hit the road heading back home. Um, we told in verse 8, Then Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, Go back, each of you, to your mother's home. May the Lord show you kindness, as, as you have shown kindness to your dead husbands and to me. May the Lord grant that each of you will find rest in the home of another husband. And I was struck by the fact that there were, were a number of reasons why Naomi could have wanted them to come with her. Six hands make a lot more uh, sense than two hands, you can get a lot more done. Um, the company on the road would be would be valuable, and so often when we're when we're in a dark space and suffering, to have somebody there with us makes a big difference. Um, just the status, coming back as a matriarch with two younger women as part of her family, could have made her feel a little more important. So w w there would be all sorts of reasons why she could have wanted the two daughters-in-law to come with her. But at the same time, she was uh, cognizant enough to recognize that there was no future for them. And she gives up her own desires and wants and unselfishly tells them to turn around and go back. And not only to go to leave, but she wants the best for them. And she says, may the Lord show you kindness. So the, the, the way you've treated me and the good that you've done, may you experience that in abundance and even more. May the Lord grant that each of you find rest in another home and wanting the best for, the, um, for Ruth and for Orpah. And so she's, she is selfless in her dealings with them. And to me, that is a that is a challenge that we need to um, to emulate that, and that's what we see in Christ, where He was prepared to lay down everything. He didn't cling to equality with God. He gave up everything and humbled Himself, taking the form of a human being. Um, and Naomi humbled herself and looked after the good of Ruth and Orpah saying, go back, you can have a better life away from me than with me, irrespective of, of how good it would have been for her if they'd come with her. And so that's a challenge to us, to look after others, to be prepared to put ourselves second. And that way we, we become like Christ. And we see as Naomi does that, God undertakes for her and looks after her and she ends up in a, in a very, very positive space. So look after one another, look after other people. Uh, that is our calling as Christians. And we know that as we do that, we copy Christ. As we copy Christ, we are walking with God. And we know then that we will have his blessing.